guys, so today's video is going to be my Brandy Melville collection, and I've never actually seen anyone do this video on YouTube before. I asked you guys for video requests, and a ton of you said you wanted to see my Brandy Melville collection, so I'm super excited for this video. Just as a disclaimer, Brandy Melville is probably my favorite store, and about 90% of my closet is from Brandy Melville, so I do realize that this is a ton of stuff. But if you see my closet right now, now that I've taken all my Brandy Melville stuff out, there isn't too much left in there. I did exclude my Brandy Melville jewelry from this video because I feel like it's already going to be a really long video. And I didn't try any of the pieces on to show you in this video because I kind of wanted to talk more about the pieces because people ask me questions about them a lot. And then you guys will see these in upcoming fashion videos and stuff like that. So I'm just going to jump right into it and I'm going to start with my chiffon crop tops that I have from there and I get a lot of questions about these all the time as well so this is basically what they look like and I have a couple of them and basically all you wear these with are high-waisted shorts or high-waisted jeans I mean I guess you could wear them with regular shorts but as you can tell it's a pretty short top so it's not too versatile but this is great and easy to throw on in the summertime with a pair of high-waisted shorts and you're actually not showing any skin so I have the black one and I do realize it looks really see-through I still do wear a bra under this people ask me that too it looks see-through because I have my studio lights up so I have it in black I have this one and it just has like daisy print on it and then I have this really pretty blue one and then I have this one which is a new addition and this is just a really pretty floral one so those are all the chiffon type crop tops that I have now moving on just to like regular graphic tee crop tops now these are a lot longer because this is more like your traditional style crop top so the first one that I have is just gray and it has the little Vogue graphic on it some of this stuff may or may not still be available on the website this for example I got when Brandy Melville first came out so obviously probably won't be able to find that on the site anymore Next, I just have this The Kills Band Tee, and it's just black with the white logo on there. And then I have two of the American flag ones. This first one has uh, stars on the front, and then it has the stripes on the back. And then the next one that I have is, again, another piece that is like original Brandy Melville, and it just has the American flag on it. And then I have one that has New York, little graphic on it. I just got that one as well. I have two of the skull ones. So I have this one with the skull headdress in black and then I also have it in white. And then this one has the moon graphics on it as you can see. And then I have two that are more like uh, they're not really graphic tees. This one is just like your basic uh, kind of like a uh, almost like a boyfriend tank and this one's just light pink with a button detail and then this one is more of like a woven shirt and it's just burgundy with the little cutout in the back next I'm gonna jump into the muscle tees that I have these are more of like a boyish cut shirt uh, the first one I have is just Nirvana I'm obsessed with Nirvana it's probably one of my favorite bands aside from Incubus I really love Incubus but I just have this one and it has the green graphic on it and then another black one that I have, it just has the sun and the moon on this one. And then these are a little bit longer. Those are kind of like cropped muscle tanks. This one is just black and white and says California. But as you can see, this one goes down a lot longer than those two. And then I also have it in this little retro California navy one. And then I have just your standard California Republic one. And this one's more of like a brown wash. A couple actual like tops. From them this one is just a f if I can grab it this one is floral and it's really cute I really like the pattern on it and it's just like a see-through chiffon top then I have this black one it's just a black kind of low v-neck but the back of it is a heart I'm not too sure how well that's gonna come up on camera but the back is a heart and then this one is really really unique it's basically a nude style top and then as you can see right there it has these two cutouts uh, right kind of like by your hip bone and I thought it would be really unflattering because I don't have like the most in shape stomach <laughs> in the world and it actually looks really good on which is surprising and then I just have this regular gray wash top it's really low so it looks really cute if you wear it with like a bandeau under it 
And then this I recently got and it's just basically like a really sheer, really lightweight long sleeve top and it just has a American flag skull on it. I have this denim vest and initially I wasn't going to invest in this. I did get one from Forever 21 that was really similar, but I will say that this quality of this vest compared to my Forever 21 one, it just isn't the same. And what I love about this is it has the really long cutouts on the side so it looks really cute. Now moving on to sweaters, I have a couple of sweaters from there. I absolutely love, love, love their sweaters. So the first sweater is just this beige and white cream stripe sweater and I really like the back because it has this big cutout detail with this little strap here so it looks really cute and you can wear it off the shoulder I really only like oversized sweaters now and sweaters that you can wear off the shoulder so Brandy Melville is like my go-to place for that and then I got this really pretty olive green one recently but this one's one of my favorites so just your average olive green you can kind of pull it off the shoulder I feel like it's a little on the crop side so it's gonna be great I can wear it during the winter and the summertime then this white one it's just a cream style oh it's really bright with my lights but basically it's just like fitted arms but really big in the middle and you can wear this oversized too so I really like that and then this next one I saw Kylie Jenner wearing it and it looks so cute so I decided to get this one and I really love the color it's like a pr really pretty blush color and I like once again the wide neck on it and it is a little bit higher in the front and lower in the back and then this sweater is probably Brandy Melville's uh, signature sweater this is I believe the fin knit so it's just a big crochet with the bat wing sleeves I'd say this is one of their most popular sweaters that they have and then two of their more like lightweight, these are almost considered like long sleeve tops, but they are still considered sweaters in a weird way. But I just have this one and it's just their, you know, standard gray, really heavily washed look. And then this one is just like your oatmeal look and it's oatmeal look, your oatmeal color. And I like this one because you can like tie it up and wear it off the shoulder and you can do so much with this sweater. Now I'm going to show you the bralettes that I have from Brandy Melville and I get a ton of questions about them every time I show them. I wear them under a lot of the Brandy Melville pieces that are see-through or things like this that are crochet knit that you kind of can't just, you know, wear a bra underneath. And I do still wear a bra underneath all of these bralettes. I guess it's personal preference, but for me, I have to wear a bra underneath. I just feel so uncomfortable without wearing a bra. But anyways, the first one that I have is just kind of corset style and it's just like a geometric print and then the back has these really cute cutouts this one's probably one of my favorites then I have this chiffon one and the back has all these little straps on I have the same one and this one's more like form-fitting that one's a little looser and it has the caged back I have that same one in a really pretty coral color and that's what the back looks like and then I have this one which is a really pretty beige with um, eyelet details on it. I love this one a lot. This one's really popular. Moving on to bottoms, I don't have that many bottoms from Brandy Melville because their whole concept of one size fits all in the bottom department doesn't really work. I've recently lost a ton of weight, so now their bottoms fit me, but before I couldn't fit into them. So just like for your knowledge or if you want to order them, online I recently got these and I am a size 25 which I haven't always been that small I normally was a size like 27 or 28 and these like just fit me so I feel like that's one thing that kind of annoys me about Brandy Melville is they're not taking into consideration that not everyone is like super small so that's just one thing to keep in mind these like if I gain any weight or if I go back to a size 26 will no longer fit me so that's that um, these are just the army print leggings but they are really great quality and I do think that they came out with a pant and I believe that the pant may come in different sizes because I do have a pair of shorts from them these are charcoal gray as you can see their shorts are super short these still kind of manage to work for me they come up a little bit shorter on camera but I usually just wear these as like beach cover-ups and I got these in a size 38 so they do do the whole Italian sizing thing if that helps anyone and then I do have a pair of their legging style pants again if you're not a size 25 or 26 these probably aren't gonna fit you so one size fits all is a lie a total lie but basically that is what they look like I like the fact that they have the pocket detailing 
and they're really affordable for what they are. I've seen things like this more expensive other places, but unfortunately they do have these in just the one size fits all. But I do think that they're starting to carry things in multiple sizes because they're learning what is going to sell for them and what isn't. So I know I said I wasn't going to show the jewelry, but I am going to jump right in and show you guys the last little bit of accessories that I have from Brandy Melville because I don't have a ton. I just have three scarves. So the first one is this infinity scarf and it's just a really pretty maroon burgundy color. I also have that same scarf in a really heavily washed gray black color. I love these. They're jersey knit and they don't keep you too warm and I don't really need a warm scarf living in Southern California. And then I have an American flag one and this one isn't a loop scarf but I've been meaning to sew it together and make it one because it would be a lot cuter but it's just kind of like a heavily washed American flag and then I have two bags this one is original Brandy Melville from when they first opened and it's actually I've had it for a couple years now and the inside linings kind of coming out so I had to get a new one and this is my new one that I got I didn't realize that it wasn't the same color I think that Brandy Melville still carries this color, I just ordered the wrong one. So I got this one, and this one's more of like a taupe color. I love these bags, they're really affordable, I think they're about $30, and they're made to last. This one, I mean the inside lining started coming out, but as far as the strap goes, all of that held up really great. That is my Brandy Melville collection, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can do more Brandy Melville videos if there's anything else you guys want to see because I absolutely love Brandy Melville. I would love it if my friends would do this video because I know they love Brandy Melville too. Danny, Kayla, Paige, Kate, Shannon, Lo, I know you guys love Brandy Melville so I think it would be great to see you guys' Brandy Melville collections and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I love talking to you guys on there. I can't always get back to the comments because on mobile it doesn't let me respond to you guys but on Twitter I can always get back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!